Amadil Kumar. With the help of this video, we will try to understand inverse normal distribution concept. The question here is, the mass of a soap produced at a factory is distributed normally with mean mu equals to 300 and standard deviation sigma of 25. Find the values of a and b such that the probability of x to be within a and b is equals to 0 0.78 and a and b are symmetric about the mean, right? Let's try to understand the question first. So we'll just consider the normal distribution graph for the given situation, which is kind of like this. Here we are given mean, the center value, as 300. So this is 300 for us. Standard deviation is deviation from the mean, right? Is deviation from the mean. In this case, is like this. So that is the standard deviation, right? So equally spaced because of the symmetry. So we have that as a standard deviation points. 25 more will give us 325. Okay. And 25 less will be 275. Is it okay? So those are the values. So what are these values? These are the mass. So we have not written any units here. We'll assume the mass to be in grams, right? So this is mass in grams. So let me write mass in grams. Okay. So, so the random value, random variable takes up the value of the mass, which is a continuous function, correct? Which is along the x-axis. This is the probability distribution density, that is f of x or probability density shown with the help of this bell-shaped graph. Now it says, find the values of a and b such that the probability is 0.78. Eight, right so that is what the question is as you know most of the time within one standard deviation it is 68 percent so so it'll be what we expect here is somewhere here right so we this is what our expectation is that that area so this is the central area which we are interested in finding right symmetric about the mean that means this is the area which we want to find basically and this area should be equals to how much 78 percent right that is the question so a and b are these values is it okay a is this b is this so i hope visually you can see what we are looking for so we want to find probability for the random variable x which represents mass in grams between a and b so that the probability is given to us as 0.78 or 78 percent. Now we are given the probability. We don't have to find the probability. We have to find the mass and that is the reverse operation, right? So this is the kind of reverse operation. Or you can say inverse. You yes, so so we can so you can use inverse normal function in your calculator to figure this out. We'll use the tables. So how are we going to use it? We are going to use these tables. Now, in my table, I have values from the left side, not from the center. So whenever you use the tables, the table here is standard normal distribution table, which is given in your book at the end. Uh, and this table, which I'm using, table values represent area to the left of the z-score, to the left of the z-score, right? So not from the center, right? Okay, fine. So it is given to the left. So, so we will, we can only find what this area is from the left okay so we'll do some some manipulations before getting into this value of 0.78 since i'm going to use that table so what i will try to explain you here is we know this is 78 percent is it okay this is 78 percent so we want to know how much is this to use my table <laughs> you get my point right how much is this okay so so from the whole, we'll take away 78%. So we get two portions. We get these two, and then we'll divide by two. Is that okay? So, so if I want to find, so this is the whole thing, right? So let me first find A. 
the B is symmetric, so finding A is good enough, right? So from symmetry, we conclude that the probability uh, for X to be, we'll do less than A is how much? This is what we're trying to figure out, right, from symmetry. Let us see how we figure this out. And then we will use z-table, translate it to this unit, and then get back to you, okay? So, so let's figure this out first. So what we have here is, let me redraw to explain, right? So this is one of the first videos on this topic. So let me take my time. Uh, some of you can really skip this portion, and those especially who, who are using the graphing calculator. So what we have here is a situation that we know that... Uh, probability from A to B this much is is 78% is 0.78 correct what well, we are interested in finding what this area is so in this case let me shade two areas like this so <clears throat> that is to say what is the probability for X to be less than A this is what we are trying to say right so we say this probability is 1 minus 0 0.78, 0 0.78. So if I do 1 minus 0 0.78, I get these two, but both are same. Do you see that? So it is half of that. Is it okay? Does it make sense? Correct? It is half of that. Correct? So let's do this. So it is 1 minus 0 0.78 equals to divided by 2 equals to 11 percent right that much is it okay so this area here is 0 0.11 this area is also 0 0.11 right so if you add them up they add to one is that point clear to you correct so we can see now clearly that we are looking for clearly probability of x we we'll just get back to this should be equals to 0 0.11 is it okay 0 0.11 so I'll rewrite this. So we have probability for x less than a equals to 0 0.11. Now we have the tables, the standardized normal distribution tables. So let's get connected with standardized normal tables, okay. So there we have z-scores, is that okay? So now we'll read the z-score for this value. So what we will do is that we will find what z-score will give me 0 0.11, right? So probability for a z-score to be less than what is 0 0.11. This is what we're interested in. And that is what we are calling as inverse operation. So this one is the inverse operation, is it okay? So, uh, so we are in the reverse thing. So 0 0.11. So it is a negative value, of course, and 0 0.11. So here, if you see 0 0.11, we have 0 0.11. Okay, so you could take one of these values, correct? 0 0.111, 0 0.109. So I think this is closer. Okay, so 0 0.1.23. Minus so minus 1.23, we get this value, minus 1.23, you get an idea, right? So from the z-score, let's get back to it again. We are looking for probability being 0.11, right? So 0.11, so we exactly don't have 0 0.110, but we are very close to this. So 0 0.115, 0 0.113, 0 0.111, 0 0.1, 109 so that is seems to be closer so it is minus 1.23 okay so that's how we got this value perfect minus 1.23 but this is the z score right this is not the actual value so we basically linked it with z score so we know z score is that much right now how is z score related with our numbers so we know z score is equals to x minus mu divided by sigma. Is that okay? We know both this since we know that this particular 
distribution is normal, right? So we'll write this as a normal distribution where the mean is 300 and standard deviation is 25. So we'll write variance normally, so square this, correct? So we know both, right? So, so we have z-score of minus 1.23 equals to x, we need to find what x is, take away mean of 300, which is shown here, divided by 25. So now, a simple ratio to calculate, is it okay? So we'll cross multiply, so we have minus 1.23 times 25 equals to x minus 300. So x in our case is a, okay? x is in our case is a. I should have written a to be very clear. Okay, anyway, so we'll calculate this value. So x is equals to, so we can say x is equals to bringing 300 to this side, 300 minus 1.23 times 25. Uh, which in decimals is 30.75. So, so this is equals to, let's say, 300 minus 30.75. In decimals, it is 269.25. Okay, so we'll round it to 269, okay? So, so from here, we get a value of 269, let us say. So, so the answer here is that the value A, which is on the left side, is, is 269. So it is take away 31. You can say take away 31, okay? So, so we are saying A is equals to 300 minus, we'll round it to 31. And B should be, they are equally placed, right? So we'll be 300 plus 31. You get an idea now? How we got A and B both, right? So by one calculation from the symmetry, perfect. So we have our answer A as 269 and B as 331, correct? So that is how you could do it. So, so from here, we can find the values of A and B. So our answer is A is equals to 269 and B equals to 331. One, correct? So this value we got 269 and B we got as 331. So they are within, so we approximated 30.75 as 31. So 31 plus minus gave us 0.78. Now if you check, standard deviation is 25, correct? So standard deviation is 25 and what we got here is uh, plus 31 and minus 31, right? Which is within one standard deviation, normally within one standard deviation, you expect 68%, this is 78%, slightly more, so it works perfect, right? Okay. I'm Anil Kumar, and I hope these simple calculations help you to understand a very complex operation, which is inverse normal distribution. You may go through this video once again, capture all the concepts and get prepared for your test. I'm Anil Kumar. You can always share and subscribe my videos. Thank you and all the best.